Man, that was a tough 90 minutes for your side out there. Your thoughts on the game? Hey, hey there's, there's a lot to go through there. Um, first and foremost, didn't think we started the game well. Second, uh, secondly, gave away some poor goals. We got ourselves in front, you're thinking, right, that's we get in front now, we can wound them out the game. We never done that, we let them straight back into it, which is disappointing. Uh, and probably going in at 2 1 at half time and going reshuffles. A lot happened in that first half. And again, the second half, we come out and we, we do more. We do more. We go and get back in the game and we could have went on and won the game. Uh, they'll probably think the same. They had a couple of chances to go and break and they were always dangerous on the break. But uh, the most important thing for me is that the two guys that got hurt today, uh, that they're okay. Dom, uh, sorry, Jerry's took a really bad one in the head. Big, massive gash, had to get stitched up. Uh, no great to see that, and then even more importantly, Curtis has got he's got a lot of teeth missing, and that's uh, listen. There's a there's another side to the game. You, you're actually thinking about the a guys sometimes a wee bit more about how the game's going. But listen, it's part and parcel of football. We're we're disappointed for them, but we, we have to be winning these games today. You were forced into three substitutions in the first half. Were you pleased with how the team responded in the second half and the contribution the substitutes made? Kieran Moore's cross for the equaliser. Kieran Moore, brilliant, cuts inside his left and puts a cross in with a bit of pace and. When you've got some that looks hot in the middle, we're going to score goals. And I keep saying that to the other guys, if you get the ball with a wee bit of pace in the box and lift it up there for Lewis to go and fight, we will we'll, we'll score goals. Mm -hmm. uh, too many times, and even in the second half there, young Adam gets, gets down the left-hand side and his cross is low. Mm -hmm. What's the point of putting it in low when you've got a guy like Lewis Hawk there? I said, that's the wee things Adam will learn from. Uh, could we have known and won it? I think we probably could have, but again, we're not creating as many chances. We've got a few free kicks in the edge of the box, and we're expecting us to do a wee bit better way as well. Uh, but at, at the end of the day, you're 2 1 down of everything that went wrong today. Could have went wrong. I lost Jordan before the game. I lost my, my main centre half, my most consistent, one of the most consistent players in uh, Young Kiaran at left back. And then and I lost Curtis with uh, many teeth getting knocked out. So. I said it was a tough day for us, a tough day, but at the end of the day we've not been beat, but again we're, we're disappointed we've not won again. Huge learning experience for young Kieran McDougall in goals. Done fine, done fine, and it, he pulled off a great save at two each, and I seen as a kid, and you look at the end of the game there, you probably get five or six players under 19 year old in there, and that shows where we are. Uh, it's, it's a learning experience for them all, and week in, week out, they will, have to, they, they will learn. Uh, but for young Kieran to come in the day, and he, he done fine, he didn't really... Didn't really do anything wrong. He made a great save, and he came, came and plucked one out the air when he was under a bit of pressure. So I'm happy for him, but against a learning experience as well. The tough fixtures just keep on coming. Now. We've got Edinburgh City here next week. As yeah. hard as it gets, every game's tough for us. We are, we are not good enough to think that we can go and win a game just by turning up. As proved today, everybody probably thought this was a gimme, but circumstances have, have changed that for us today. Uh, Tough games, I think we, we play them, then we get Stirling Albion away the following week. Listen, Stirling Albion got a great result today as well. So, listen, we need to we need to get players back. We need to get players back fit and playing. And listen, we need to see where we are on Tuesday training because there's, there's a few injuries there. And listen, we need to go and see what we've got to do next week. Thanks, Mark.